Hello everybody, it's Rob here from propertyinvestmentsuk.co.uk and today I'm going to show you how to find the market rents for property investments in Manchester. So we're going to use two websites to do this and it will show you simply what potentially professional tenants might look to pay for your property if you were looking at the Manchester area and also what local housing allowance might be yeah, able to pay and what you might be able to achieve for local housing tenants uh, in a particular property in, in this area. So this little video will take around sort of five to seven minutes, should be quite quick and it, at the end of it hopefully it'll take away, you'll be able to very quickly and simply find uh, what rent you might be able to achieve for your property investments. So let's go straight into it and um, we're going to use the Rightmove website at the moment. So if we click on to rent, so we can use the Rightmove website to get us the most amount of data because it's the biggest website or the biggest property portal really in the UK for, um, for rent and for sale price uh, properties, so it has a, a big database of information there which is great when we're doing this type of searching and we're going to partic pick a particular area Manchester um, because Manchester is quite a wide area so let's choose M19 which is a postcode in Manchester that covers the Burnage and Levinshume sort of sections or part of Manchester and that will come up with a search bar and we can narrow that criteria down now, typically we like to try and do like for like comparisons when we're looking for um, market rents to see what we can achieve on a property. Um, so if we've got, for instance, a three bedroom property that we're looking at, we really want to see what other three bedroom properties are achieving. Um, there's no point in us looking at sort of five bedroom detached houses when we've got a, a three bedroom um, semi detached, for instance, or looking at one bedroom flats when we've got three bedroom semi detached. So let's stick to the criteria and choose houses. And let's say three bedrooms here. And then price range, let's put a budget of £1,000 maximum. So that'll just help restrict really some of the criteria that might fall um, or that won't be similar to what we're really looking for at the moment. And let's choose uh, no, non-retirement properties and let agreed properties. So we can see what properties have maybe recently been let as well, which is good data to have a look at. So let's click find properties here. Now what that'll do is come up with a list of properties in this area so as you can see at the top here you've got 32 three bedroom houses that fit that criteria now there's two ways to use this search tool you can either uh, scroll down and just see the list of properties as, as they kind of show up or the the better way and um, which i prefer really is this properties on map section here now the reason why i prefer this is what it does is it shows you a map of the area and where the properties are actually located so it's much more detailed if you're looking at a particular part of let's say Burnage or a particular part of Levenshoe and you for instance maybe have a property on this street and um, these are the closest properties to you and will give you the best com criteria or the best comparisons and um, for your rental properties compared to for instance properties that are maybe slightly further up in the M19 kind of postcode so um, this map section helps us to narrow that down much better. So let's look at some properties within this region. Let's say Burnage. So if we click on this property here, we've got a, a three bedroom terraced house, which is 495. Now that's very cheap for this particular area as well. So uh, I wonder why that one's 495. But the other properties that we're looking at, are, say 650, uh, 695, 180 a week. Uh, 775 uh, 600 so as you can see the range really from sort of 600 to 700 um, apart from this one kind of anomaly which is 495 now and um, that's still competition that's still a property that people have the choice to rent so you've really got to look at this and do this type of search to see uh, when you go to buy a property what rents you might actually be able to achieve on it um, and take the data uh, as it is really so they're the comparison properties for what's on the market at the moment that are three bedroom houses now what we want to do is also check to see what the entitlement might be for housing benefit um, allowances so let's say if we go up to this other website up here now this is the valuation office agency website the voa.gov.uk and this will give us a search tool to see what local housing allowances are available in a particular area so there's some information here which is well worth a read if you really considering doing um, properties with local housing allowance uh, or local housing benefit tenants uh, but what we're going to do today is just use a search tool so if we click on find LHA rates now in here you've got a uh, data set that we can choose from so let's say three bedrooms the postcode for the region was M19 so let's choose that one you can choose a local authority if you want and you can choose the time of um, either the year or the month as well in which the housing benefit claim starts. 
So if we click submit, and what that'll do is it'll bring you up to date. And now Manchester, actually, this particular region falls between two barriers uh, or two uh, broad rental market areas, which is the BRMA here. Um, so you've got South Manchester where you can get a better rate and Central Manchester where the rate is slightly lower. Um, so it helps if you've got the full postcode of the property, you can put that in and then it'll narrow down really which rate you'll be able to achieve. Um, but let's say it's worst case scenario and we're going to achieve the Central Greater Manchester rate on this particular um, property that we're doing a comparison on. So the rate is £126 and 92 pence per week. So what we want to try and do is figure that out on a monthly basis. So we need to do a little bit of maths here first. So if we times that by 52 weeks, that'll give us our yearly figure. And if we divide that by 12 months, that'll give us our monthly figure. So that comes up with 549 pound and 98 pence. So let's round that up to 550 and that gives us a much more accurate kind of figure to work with. So the housing benefit allowance rate for this area is 550, but as you saw, the rents really for the properties on the market are, are, are much higher than that. So you've got 500, which is your lowest price property down here, um, but really you go up to 575, 600, um, 850, 775. Uh, 180 per week and 695 so you've got a big range of property values now this particular property here is 695 but if they wanted to rent it to a three bedroom entitled um, tenant then they would only be entitled to 550 per month so there's quite a gap there of what they'd be able to achieve for housing allowance compared to um, the normal market rent so this search tool just helps you analyze that it helps you then figure out what tenant profile you want to target as well as uh, the properties that you're considering looking at and how you're going to go about you with your property sourcing. So hopefully this video has been helpful. It's shown you um, simply how you can do two searches to figure out what the market rents might be and how they could differ from a professional tenant to a local housing benefit tenant as well. Um, so hopefully that video, as I said, has been useful for you. If it has and you want to see more videos like this, if you uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, that would be great. And you can then get all the updated videos uh, with information and help just like this one, which will hopefully help you on the road to building your property investment portfolio. So to do that, if you go to youtube.com forward slash Robert Jones property and click the subscribe button, that'll be great. And if you've ever got any questions at any time, feel please feel free to email me at rob at property investments UK uk or leave a comment below on the video uh, and i'll be happy to answer and help where i can that's great thanks for watching and hopefully that video has been helpful